That's a good one. This morning in Consumer Confidential, decoding some popular skincare terms, tools, and trends. So maybe you saw something on social media or maybe a new product on a store shelf that you were curious about. Well, today we have some answers. We have board-certified dermatologist Dr. Marnie Nasbaum here to help us out. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So this is a really interesting microneedling versus microdermabrasion. Yes. Very different, both amazing procedures, but people get them confused because yes. they have the word, word micro. I just picture needles in my face. Is that so? Okay. Not, so micro needling will do first. What okay. that is is it can come in a roller form or stamper form, and it creates lots of little micro injuries in the okay. top layers of the mm. skin. Mm. And what that does is it creates a wound healing process, mm. so that it encourages <laughs> collagen elastin growth to decrease fine lines and wrinkles. It I've looks seen like this, it hurts. I know I've seen this all over social media, yeah. but then when they show oh. it days later, it's amazing. amazing. It's amazing. But so, <laughs> does it really hurt? Tell it, you. So you have to numb for an hour, and depending upon the level which the provider uses, okay. there may be one to two days downtime. Okay. So we, <laughs> now, microderm. What? Who's like? Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> one to two days downtime. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like a full on procedure. But then when you reemerge, you got a stunning gun going there. Stunning. So You're, okay. All right. So the microdermabrasion. Mr. My ear said the peanut gallery has to be quiet. The Mr. Peanut Gallery. All right. <laughs> microdermabrasion. <laughs> Amazing procedure. This has no downtime and okay. doesn't hurt. Okay. What it does is it uses a mechanical exfoliator okay. with crystals to take away the top layers of the skin cells, okay. while also mm -hmm. suctioning to increase blood circulation so that you get a glow glowing, bright complexion. How often should you do either one of these, or if you choose to? So microneedling, we usually do three treatments, four weeks apart. Um, Microdermabrasion, you can do literally once a month, no downtime, just to look great for a I should a try it. I should try it. Okay, Your skin so, looks great. I know. I, that's, that's, I told you. I know. I'm always trying stuff. That's all right, so good. next, slugging. I've seen slugging. this all over, too. Yes. So how does this work? Terrible name for an interesting thing. Terrible. So, <laughs> like a snail. So, that's why it's a snail. Oh, really? Like snail, snail slime yes. all over your face. So what slugging is, <laughs> is when you slather your skin in a thick ointment overnight. You don't just get greasy and pimply? Well, you'll it's slathering overnight to create a seal okay. to lock in moisture and then plump and hydrate the epidermal barrier. Okay. It's great for dehydrated skin and healing skin because it repairs and prevents any water loss. Okay. But Terrible for acne prone skin. If I did it, I would break out everywhere. Okay. So and also you have to be very careful. Do not put anything underneath the ointment. Full like disclosure, I had I have really, really dry skin. And several years ago, a dermatologist told me to slug. Oh, and and, and it worked. See, it works yeah. if you have that type of skin. Yeah. Exactly. But don't put any acids or retinol underneath because you'll really irritate your skin. Okay. okay. I, have, I have learned so much already. <laughs> and I'm about to learn even more. Skin cycling. Skin cycling. I've heard you talk about this before. We've but touched upon it. Remind folks exactly what it is. So skin cycling is a rotational skincare plan that aims to make the products you use work better, streamline your routine, and avoid interactions with skin actives. So, for instance, the first two days of skin cycling, you can use actives like exfoliating and retinol. Okay. Okay. The second two days, you let your skin rest with a moisturizer and antioxidants like vitamin C or anything like that. And then you go back to the retinol. Exactly, and the exactly. So there are, you want to look for ingredients when you exfoliate with glycolic acid. And then for retinol, these are two great options for retinol, but start with a low potency. And what does that do for the skin? So what it does is it allows you to actually use the skin actives for the first two days, but then let your skin recover from those skin actives because they can be irritating. It's just a foundation and you can absolutely titrate it up or down depending upon how your skin tolerates. Okay. It. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, cryo free sounds like something out of Austin Powers, but these like <laughs> tools are really like they're I fun mean, and they're this cold. This is super fun. Yeah. So it's definitely a step up from our um, spoons in the freezer when we yes. were in college. So this is what? So it calms inflammation. Okay. It decreases puffiness. So let's say you had a oh, great night out last Very night, nice. or not so great night. Uh -huh. um, you can literally just roll it in and out, and it decreases mm -hmm. the puffiness. Your skin will look contoured and great, but it's only temporary. But it feels really. It nice. Feels fantastic. Yes. Just. Wake yourself up with it okay. every day. Okay. I love yeah. it. Keep and, it in the freezer. Keep it in the freezer. Okay. And Marnie, uh, home dermaplaning. Yes, home dermaplaning. Okay, we have to be careful with this. Yes. One. It freshens adult, um, adult complexion. It exfoliates the top layers of the cells that harbor so, dirt. So what is it exactly? So it's a micro exfoliating scalp bulb. Now it's like shaving for men, so mm -hmm. we have to be very careful. Use right. a very light touch. It mm -hmm. takes off peach fuzz and mm -hmm. dirt and bacteria, but you really got to be careful. Use a light touch and only do it twice a month maximum. 
none. Okay. It seems yes. like that almost might be something you want to go to a professional for. I tend to agree. Yeah. So I tend to agree. Be very careful at home because you can cause irritation, inflammation, and bleeding. Nice. Right. We so, are fans like this of some of this. I so mean, nice. and just look how fun it looks. And it, yeah. Yeah. Well, it reduces puffiness? Having puffiness, ice packs in anything. The if you have so some soy it. sauce the night before, you wake <laughs> up, you do that. Feels you great. Yeah. Kids yeah. are up all night. Thank, thank, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You a great segment. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.